What's good? It's your boy, Tan Money, and today I'm going to talk about the blockchain. Now, you know what I'm saying? I know I talk about the blockchain self and all that stuff. I didn't have no explanation of it, but thank God, you know, by the grace of God, you know, the War Economic Forum came out with a blog talking about it. It came out January of this year. So, I'm going to go into the full detail of the fourth industrial revolution of technology and also the matrix we have three metaverse you know the matrix itself i mean let's just be honest it's the matrix y'all you know what I'm saying? when it comes to the metaverse the digital universe there's gonna be many worlds many realms many things to do many things to have fun you know all that stuff and i'm all for it man i'm not against see i'm not against these type of things if i was i would not be up here reading this stuff you know glorifying it and stuff you know what i mean <clears throat> You know, when it comes down to my personal experience here in this world, in this physical reality, it was all terrible. It was very terrible. So, you know, I, my dignity, my dignity was stolen. My manhood was stolen. All of that was stolen from me. You know what I mean? So, that's why I seek the digital world, the digital realm, because I want to become of the digital world, the digital realm. Basically, Web three, the metaverse, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> And when Web 4 comes, and that's when we have the uh, chips in our brains to where we can meditate and log into the metaverse. Simply, it's like visualizing, but more better because you see it with your eyes. When you close your eyes, you know, technology is going to be advanced. <clears throat> when it comes to Web 5, that's when your soul will be able to transfer into the metaverse. And basically, you'll become artificial intelligence or be a part of artificial intelligence. But here's the thing, you... You might not like it. You might try to see death when you're in the metaverse, but you won't find it, which means you stuck there forever as long as technology is still active, or you just stuck in there forever. Either way, you know, so you're gonna be stuck with artificial intelligence if you're so ever to transfer transfer into the metaverse. You know, it ain't about living forever, but also it's about living in a fake world and the metaverse with three and the internet. Basically, the metaverse, the virtual plane, it is a fake world. I'm not being honest, but you know, let's get to this article. Web 3.0 will be the foundation for the metaverse, and that's the truth. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can. If I know this ain't part of the blog, the metaverse is quickly becoming a frequent part of everyday conversation as people begin to understand the potential of AR and VR technology. However, understanding exactly how the, how the concept will work as a whole is important. This includes factors such as NFTs, Web 3.0 technologies, and the blockchain. You may think the metaverse will be a bunch of inter, 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 interconnected virtual spaces, the world, the world wide web, but access through virtual reality, this is largely correct, but there is also a, a, a fundamental but slightly more cryptic side to the metaverse that will set, up, set it apart from today's internet, the blockchain. In the beginning of Web 1.0 was the information superhighway of connected computers and server, servers that you could search, explore, and inhabit usually through a centralized company platform, for example, a AOL, Yahoo, Microsoft, and Google. Around the turn of the millennium, Web 2.0 came to be characterized by social networking sites, blogging, and the monetization of user data for advertising by the decentralized gatekeepers to free social media platforms, including Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. Web 3.0 will be the foundation for the metaverse. It will consist of blockchain-enabled decentralized applications that supports the economy of user-owned crypto assets and data. So basically, Web 3.0 is all about cryptocurrencies, which is in-game tokens, whether it be fighter coins, car co uh, points, V bucks, you know, Zuck bucks in the metaverse, you know, all that stuff. So when it comes to NFTs and cryptocurrencies, you know, it's all it's going, it's all all two of them is going to be connected to the blockchain, right along with, with everything you do in the metaverse. You know, blockchain. We're gonna to get to the deep ends of it. Let's let's, let's keep reading. <laughs> blockchain decentralized 
crypto assets as researchers who study social media and media technology we can explain the technologies that will make the metaverse possible owning bit owning bits blockchain is a technology that per permanently records transactions typically in a decentralized and public database called a, a lender Bitcoin is the most well-known blockchain blockchain based cryptocurrencies. Every time you buy some Bitcoin, for example, that transaction gets recorded to the Bitcoin blockchain, which means that record is distributed to thousands of individual computers around the world. This decentralized recording system is very difficult to fool or control. Public blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum, Ethereum are also transparent. All transactions are available for anyone on the internet to see, in contrast to traditional banking books. Ethereum, Ethereum I know I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I heard it word so many times I'm trying to say it right. Ethereum is a blockchain like Bitcoin, but Ethereum uh, also programmable through smart contracts, which are essential blockchain-based software routines that run automatically when some conditions is met. For example, you could use a smart contract on the blockchain to establish your ownership of a digital object, such as a piece of art or music to which no one else can claim ownership on the blockchain. Even if they save a copy to their computers, digital objects can be owned, currency, securities, artwork, or crypto assets. Items like artwork and music are on a blockchain are non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Non-fungible means they are unique and not replaceable. The opposite of fungible items like currency and any dollar is worth the same as and can be swiped with any other dollar. In the other dollar, non fungible tokens and NFTs use the current cryptography of uh, blockchain to make pro prob probably unique instances of digital items, including all work like these images you shown shown at the exhibit in Miami Beach, November, whatever. Importantly, you could use a smart contract that says you are willing to sell your piece of digital art for one for US one million dollars in either the current the currency of Ethereum Ethereum uh blockchain will I when I click agree the artwork and the other and the either automatically transfer ownership between us on the blockchain. There is no need for a bank or a third parties echo escrow escrow I don't know what that says. If either of us were to dispute the transaction, for example, if you claim that I only pay nine hundred ninety nine thousand, the others could easily point to the public record in the distributed lender. What does this blockchain crypto asset stuff have to do with the metaverse? Everything start it to everything is everything to start. The blockchain allows you to own digital goods in the virtual world. You won't. You won't just own that NFT in the real world, you'll own it in the virtual world too. In addition, in addition, the metaverse isn't being built by any one group or company. Different groups will build different virtual worlds, and in the future, these worlds will be in inter interoperable. Inter interoperable? I'm, I'm sorry for not pronouncing these words. Forming the metaverse as people move between virtual worlds, say from Decentraland virtual environments to Microsoft, they'll want to bring their stuff with them. If two virtual worlds are inter, inter oh my god, interoperable, the blockchain will un 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 anticipate and anticipate proof of ownership of your digital goods in both virtual worlds. Essentially, as long as you are able to access your crypto wallet within the virtual world, you will be able to access your crypto stuff. Don't forget your wallet. So what So what will you keep in your crypto wallet? You will obviously want to carry cryptocurrencies in, your meta, in the metaverse. Your crypto wallet will also help 
hold your metaverse on only digital goods such as your avatars, avatar clothing, avatar animation, virtual decoration, weapons. Weapons? What? Uh, I guess I don't know. Avatar is like the representation of El Salvador president. We have uh, our cartoon-like animation that people inhabit in the metaverse. What will people do with their crypto wallets, among other things, shop, just as you likely do on the web now? You will be able to purchase the traditional digital goods like music, movies, games, and apps. You will also be able to buy physical world items in the metaverse, and you will be able to view whole 3D models of what you are shopping for, which could help you make more informed decisions. Also, just like you can use the EO leather wallet to carry your ID, crypto wallets will be linkable to real world identities, which could help facilitate, facilitate, facilitate transactions that require legal verification, such as buying a real world car or home because your ID will be linked to your wallet. You won't need to remember the logins information for all the websites and virtual worlds that you visit. Just connect your wallet with a click and you are logged in ID associated wallet associated wallets will also be useful for controlling access to age restricted areas in the metaverse. Your crypto wallet could also be linked to your contacts list, which will also well, will, will, which will allow you to bring your social network information from one virtual world to another. Join join me for a people pool party and fill in the blank word word the world fill in the blank world. I mean, I thought I said word, but it's me world. At some point in the future, wallets could also be associated with reputation scores that determine the permission you have to broadcast in public places and interact with people outside your social network. <clears throat> if you act like a, a toxic misinformation spreading tr- spreading troll, you may <clears throat> damage your reputation and potentially have your sphere of influence reduced by the system. This could create an incentive. incentive for people to behave well in the metaverse, but platform developers will have to pr- properize these systems. Big business. Lastly, if the metaverse is money, then companies will certainly want to play too. The centralized nature of blockchains will potentially reduce the need for gatekeepers in the financial transaction, but companies will still have many opportunities to generate revenue possibilities, possible possibly even more than in current economies. Companies like Meta will provide large platforms where people will work, play, and congregate. Major brands are also getting into the NFTs mix, including Dolores and Gabbana, Coca-Cola and Adidas and Nike. In the future, when you buy physical world items from a company, you might also gain ownership of a link NFT in the metaverse. What? For example, when you buy that coveted name brand outfit to wear it to the real world dance club, you might also become the, the owner of the crypto version of the outfit that your avatar can wear to a virtual Ariana Grande concert. And just as you could sell the physical outfit secondhand, you could also sell the NFT version for someone else's avatar to wear. That's amazing right there. These are these are a few of the many ways that meta, that, that, that metaverse business models will likely overlay with the physical world. Such examples will get more complex as augmented reality technologies increasingly come into play. For the emerging aspects of the metaverse and physical world, although the metaverse proper isn't here yet. Technological foundation like blockchain and crypto assets are steadily being developed, setting the stage for seeming see you big in this virtual uh, virtual future that is coming soon to a ver to a verse near you. To a verse near you. Who wrote this? Okay, that's what basically that's what blockchain is. It deals with Web three. It deals with cryptocurrency and it deals with NFTs and it deals with the metaverse. 
That's why your avatar is your blockchain self. And that's why that the next evolution is become digital humans. And the next human the next primate or human evolution, you know, we started as apes like school teachers. This this is what school teachers we started as primates, and Neanderthals, Homo sapiens, and, you know, they found bones of it and stuff. You know, we start as homo sapiens, and now our next step is now for those who want to become robots, that's cool. But the next evolution is really becoming a digital human, a uh, digital avatar. You know what I'm saying? That's the next evolution of human evolution, man. That's why I play Star Trek online, even though I'm not surrounded by other players yet. I don't know when I'm going to be surrounded by other players, but I got to do these missions first in Star Trek online. And also Fortnite, too. I join a Fortnite crew, so I get the battle pass whenever the billing day comes. You know what I'm saying? I get the monthly crew thing. And also I get direct deposit of V-Bucks, $1,000 V-Bucks. I get that direct deposit of V-Bucks, man, which I'm happy and grateful for to have V-Bucks and also use it to buy avatars and stuff like that. I mean, I buy avatars, but, you know, skins and stuff. They call it skins. I call it avatars, but skins, I guess. But, you know, this is your boy, Tab, man. I'm finna sign off. That's what I want to say. So when it comes down to having a blockchain and metaverse, it deals with, you know, you having, a di having digital rights to that thing. And since blockchain is definitely a, a AI technology, it's going to be embedded in you. In 2030, it's going to be embedded in you. But many other things as well. So this is your boy, Tab Money. That's all I want to say. So when it comes to a, a blockchain, like I read through the article, it got to, it got to do with the Web 3.0. Blockchain is going to work with Web 0.40 and also Web 5.0. And Web 4, you know what I'm saying, you meditate or dream in the metaverse. But when you go to sleep, though, your body shuts off. So I don't know how that's going to be. I don't know how that's going to be possible. But, you know, but also when you meditate or try to visualize, when you close your eyes, you log into your brain chip and you're in the metaverse. That's where four and where five is when you transfer your soul into the metaverse and you part of the fake world. And the reason why I say fake world, because you don't realize it is a fake world. I'm just being honest. So this is your boy, Tamlin. I'm finna sign off this. I want to say. So be on the lookout for these uh, articles that I read from the work and I'm performing strictly about the metaverse. And stay tuned. So peace.